Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lung Pamai, and in this short video, I'll demonstrate how to permanently delete or recycle files and folders using VBA. Okay, first let me demonstrate the kill method uh, in VBA, and then we'll move on to the recycle method. Um, so this is very simple, we'll keep it very short. Um, let me create a new folder called demo. And uh, within this folder, I'm gonna add some dummy files. Let's call this file. And then I'll just make a copy of these files. And let me add a couple of extra files as well. Okay, so that should be good for now. Um, going back to VBA. This one, so if you use a kill method to um, delete all to delete a specific file, you can just uh, pass the full file path after kill. So this will be the file name that we want to delete. So if I run this code, it should delete this file now. Uh, at the same time, we'll take a look at the recycle bin. OK. So if I run this now, this file gets deleted, but it doesn't go to the recycle bin. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, in the next part of this video, uh, I'll also demonstrate how to send it to the recycle bin. Now, if you want to use this kill method to delete all the text files, for example, then instead of the file, you can just put an asterisk. So it represents any file with this extension. So if I run this code now, it will delete all these files. Okay. Um, I'm going to execute this. So all these files are gone. It didn't go to the recycle bin. Um, you cannot use this method for um, to delete a folder, so I'll quickly demonstrate that as well. Now, similarly, if you want to delete uh, other any other type of files, you can simply specify the path like this. Yeah. So this file is deleted. Okay. So now let me quickly also show you in case you want to delete a folder. Um, or file using file uh, system object. For that, uh, we'll do early binding. Go and reference to Microsoft uh, scripting runtime. OK, check this one, Microsoft scripting runtime. Click on OK. And now we'll just create a simple uh, process to delete file folders and so on. So let's call this theme file system and then object as a new file system object. And then here you'll have so many methods, but today we'll just focus on deleting files and folder only. Okay. Um, and then we'll need the pod um, theme str pod. This will hold the folder or file name that we want to delete. So let's say that we want to delete this folder called uh, sub1. Just get this and pass the parameter here. OK, so let's say that we want to delete this. You can just say this dot delete folder. And then you specify this particular part like this. So this should delete the delete the folder. Uh, if you want, we can also quickly check if the folder exists before you delete. So uh, not file, folder exists. And here you can specify um, if it is false, then we don't want to do anything. If it is true, then yes, we want to go ahead and delete. OK, so let's give it a try. We'll have this folder deleted. And then, um, yep. yeah, so this folder got deleted. Now, in case you want to use this to delete uh, subfolders, then you can specify, um, like we did up here, you can specify, where's that? OK, deleted, but uh, we can specify in this fashion as well. Um, so for example, this part, and then here you can just put uh, for the to delete the uh, all the files within the folder. You can just do this. Okay. So um, here, if you already have the backslash, uh, 
here then um, oops then you don't have to include this one here otherwise you can do it okay and um, if you do uh, this then basically it's gonna delete all the files delete all the files within this folder okay I would did the demonstration for the text file earlier and then if you want to delete all the subfolders then we'll use the same method to do this okay so if you run this uh, in this fashion it's going to delete all the subfolders within uh, this so for example let's say this was sub one within sub one we want to create a folder called sub two okay I'm um, gonna just remove this for now okay, so all the folders we want to delete um under sub one okay so i'm gonna go here go in here and run this code yeah all the folders deleted now if you want to delete all the files within this we have already basically tried with this method um so i'll just create some dummy files Okay, so again, you can put a condition if you want it to be the text file, then you do txt if you want all the Excel file, XLS, something like that, yeah? So with this, it will delete only the txt files. If I run this, uh, delete file, yeah? Um, so that will be it uh, from the from the Windows, um, you know, like to delete the file and folder permanently. So you'll use this kill method and then the file system object you can use this okay um very quickly if you want to do a light uh late binding uh, you can use this uh, scripting dot file system object you can create object as well okay now moving on to uh go to the blog i'll leave the link for this in the video description just copy this uh, function and then i'm going to insert a new module okay so in the same fashion, we're going to just call this for particular method. No, no changes needed as such, but if you are interested, then there will be a link to read further. Okay. Um, so going to the bottom, we'll create this test, recycle this one. So in this, we'll do a test of um, sample one. Let's say we want to delete this file, but we want this file to go to a recycle bin here instead, yeah? So I'll put in this, and then the name of the function is this, okay? Now you can go in further. I've already commented out, are you sure you want to, you know, like uh, some of the prompt that will come, so I've already removed that. You can do add your custom uh, message as well within this, you know, like if there is any error. Okay, now let's try this first. I'm gonna run this, so uh, this particular file will move to recycle bin instead of permanently being deleted. Um, so yeah, there's the file. If you want to do a folder, um, sub one, if I run this now, so it's moved to, uh, to, to the recycle bin. Okay, so uh, it's pretty useful. Do check it out. Um, and then, yeah, if uh, this video helped you, do not forget to leave a like. And we'll do more uh, advanced uh, series coming soon. Uh, we'll talk more about the Google APIs, also some of the, uh, you know, like topics on the PowerPoint uh, add-in creation. And then we'll move on to, you know, like more advanced topics in coming videos. So, Thank you so much for watching and then I'll talk to you guys. Bye-bye.